Well, to succeed as a corporate lawyer, or for that matter, any lawyer, you know, of any expertise, it is crucial to work on refining and constantly improving yourself and, and your skills. Globally, in general, and specifically in India, the corporate sector is set for growth, offering uh, plenty of opportunities for aspiring uh, law students. The rise of entrepreneurship in India has also boosted the demand for, uh, for corporate lawyers, I would say. Uh, to stand out in the field of law, you know, especially corporate law as we are talking about, you would need three skills. That's based on my experience. First, to excel as a corporate lawyer, you need to understand the aspects of corporations, including accounting, risk management, business strategy, and, and, and development. Uh, besides expertise, a strong grasp of business concepts is essential to assess the viability of proposed solutions. So a corporate lawyer, uh, I would say, needs to keep the knowledge about businesses, economic laws, policies, issues, etc. updated. Uh, second, the, the corporate lawyer should train his or her mind to analytical thinking, to dissect situations and apply knowledge for outcomes for clients. Corporate agreements must be carefully crafted to protect clients from risks and, and minimize the, the uh, impact in case things go crooked. Uh, crafting clauses and creating a contract that is acceptable to both parties is crucial. It is like a creative art of an artist, I would say, you know. So corporate lawyer must function like a corporate artist. The third and final skill set has two components. Uh, a corporate lawyer is more than often involved in mediating and negotiating between clients and parties. So it is important for corporate lawyers to hone their skills to effectively communicate and resolve issues amicably. This proficiency should encompass not only written communication, but also effective verbal communication. That's important. Finally, I would say as a lawyer, one must excel in business development networking and engaging with business founders, promoters, in-house GCs, CEOs and CFOs. Balancing the roles of a hunter who generates business opportunities and a farmer who nurtures existing relationships is essential for success in this field.